So I've got my code here in a text wrangler document. I've, I've given it a name with a .html extension. I've called mine prompt.html because I want it to be descriptive um, for each of the exercises that I was going over, but you can really name it anything you want. And I'll ex explain what's happening here. This is a basic HTML page. Um, you'll notice I included the doc type for XHTML, and that's just the HTML5 doc type. Just make sure that's at the top of your page for any page that you do from here on out. It's not something that would change the way your page looks necessarily, but it's good coding standards to have that. It lets the browser know that you're working in HTML5. So just like any other HTML page we've ever created, we have HTML opening and closing, we have head, we have body, we have a title and we have a paragraph here. So, you know, there's nothing really all that special about this up until this point. Now, in the um, body, we have a paragraph that just has some text in it, hello, but then there's also this span, and a span is a generic container like a div. Um, we're gonna use a span in this case because a span is in line. We want it to go in line with this paragraph. We couldn't use a div here because we couldn't put a div inside a paragraph, basically. We'll be doing some things with divs in a minute. Um, and I should point out that every time you do a script, there are probably multiple ways you can approach it. This is all about logic, problem solving, creating algorithms or the steps to solve a problem. And your steps may be slightly different than mine in solving the exact same problem. That's really the whole basis of programming. So then we have our script, and this is a pretty simple script. This um, I've got the opening and closing script tags, and this is where all our script is going to go. And um, in the script, I'm going to create a variable called first name with a prompt. Remember, we did that in the basic JavaScript tutorial where we created a prompt. And we're going to store whenever the person types in their name, and we're going to store that in the first name variable. And then we're going to come down here and we're going to take the inner HTML of first name and we're going to change it to whatever first name is that was in that variable. So uh, for now, let's just run the script and see what it produces. So this one I've saved as um, prompt.html. So I'll come over here and open it. And it comes up and you know you see the hello over here because it's just sort of waiting for somebody to log in. And I'll just put my name in here and it says, hello, Cindy. So the prompt replaces what was in that blank span. If we take a look at that again, here is the blank span. We can see the hello, but the blank span is waiting for something to replace it. And what replaces it is this get element by ID, change the inner HTML of first name to the variable we created in first name. So as you work with this, it'll start making more sense. We'll be doing more and more complex versions of it.